All right, let's take a look at questions 27 and 28 for passage three. Uh, again, I'm going to pair these questions together like I did with 24 and 25 because we have this same format of a general question in 27 and an evidence question in 28. So uh, let's start with 28 uh, and look at our lines of evidence uh, and see if they answer this question about what the author implies about pelicans, storks, and geese as it mentions in 27. Now, right off the bat, I can eliminate choice A because of the main idea that we wrote. Now, I know that other birds are pelicans, storks, and geese don't appear until line 45, which means that a choice that precedes that in line number is there's no way that it talks about uh, pelicans, storks, or geese. So for that reason, A is already off the table. Now, choice B is in the right paragraph. Let's see what it says more specifically. Uh, smaller birds create more complex wakes that would make drafting too difficult. The sentence is a little bit hard to understand, so I might also read this previous sentence and get a sense for, okay, we're talking about the wakes, we're comparing uh, the wakes of these larger birds and smaller birds. Uh, this feels relevant to me, right? We're talking about those uh, larger birds and we're implying something by talking about uh, how they relate to smaller birds. So choice B is definitely a front runner right now. How about choice C? Uh, lines 52 to 54. So those lines read, uh, previous studies estimate that birds can use 20% to 30% less energy while flying in a V. I don't love this answer because it is too general, right? We want to talk about specifically pelicans, storks, and geese, and this is talking about all different kinds of birds. So because it is so general like that, I'm going to take it off the table. How about D? 66 to 67. Uh, all right, so this quote is already pretty far away from our paragraph that we know is specifically talking about those birds that were in uh, question, but let's see what it says regardless. Alternatively, they may move around until they find the location with the least resistance. Again, this is talking about birds in general, not specifically pelicans, storks, and geese. So I'm going to take it off the table and uh, confirm that B is our strongest answer here. Now, Let's take a look at how B might inform uh, question 27 up here. Um, as I mentioned, it has something to do with about the wake, right? Uh, the smaller birds have a different wake, uh, a more a complicated wake. Um, if we look at our answer choices here, there's only one that really lines up with that, that they create a similar wake to that of ibises. Let's just confirm that that's correct. Um, if we go back up to our paragraph, it says, the findings likely apply to other long-winged birds, such as pelicans, storks, and geese. Usherwood says, smaller birds create more complex wakes that would be make drafting uh, too difficult. All right, confirmed, right? Uh, the smaller birds create a different wake, but the pelican, storks, and geese create a similar wake uh, in that they are all long wing birds. So 27 is definitely going to be uh, choice C for that reason and how it lines up with choice B in question 28.